right, good morning, everyone. Here we are at a tier three quest over here. It's a it's an apartment building. We're just here to do the fetch and clear, not an infestation or anything. Let's hit it. Brought the helicopter over here today, just trying to work on my skill on that because it's not great so far. And there's some generic schematics for us. I have a feeling we'll never have enough of them. Well, let's start out here in the crack a book section. I'm not sure quite the intended pathway here. Whoop, look out. Ah, killer joke. Good morning, buddy. Two skill points to spend this morning. Well, let's go ahead and do that right now because there's one, of course, that we were supposed to spend the last time and that was going to be not Iron Gut, but Health Nut. Let's max that out. The other one I'll hang on to for just a second. Who's in here? Biker. Barrel Biker. Orange Tea Schematic. I don't think that I need that. I'll scrap it and now I, I almost immediately regret that. It's just that I can make the tomato juice, which is a lot easier to make in my opinion, because you don't have to have a tree. You just have to have the plant in the garden, which takes up a lot less real estate. Oh, good morning, Mo. All right. Unfortunately, this is, wow, that's actually a lot of stuff there. Scavenging, I'll read. I don't know where I am on that. Probably worth checking. We're at 93, so we're almost to the point where we can just start scrapping those as well. Anybody hanging out back here? Of course there is. Let's try the titanium axe out a little bit. It's a pretty good weapon. At least it looks like it would be a good weapon. There we go. Scavenging just increased a little bit. I think we have six levels to go there. All right, who's waiting for me in here? So far, pretty tame here. I'm used to the infestations. We've been doing those for quite a while now. Oh yeah, plants. We gotta do plants and we gotta make some paintings probably so we can continue continue decorating the base. What do we have here? Cannabis plant schematic. Jeez, I don't have a license for that. All right, I'm in the kitchen here. We have carrot plant schematic, already know that. Uh, we took that point to get brass out of doors ages ago and I, I don't think I've been in like a real legitimate house type of POI since then, so I haven't really been keeping up on that. But then again, I, at this point we're finding ammo at, at such a rate that I don't think it's it's not the most important thing to be getting brass, and that's only going to help us really get the... I, I think it's really only the 762 that we would even consider crafting. And even then, I would only craft it if I, you know, found the gunpowder and found the bullet tips. Anything that I craft myself is going to be specifically for coil rounds. At least I think that's the best way to go about things. Whoa, what's going on here? Hello? And the spear moves so fast. Wow. No. Oh, jeez. Hold the line. There we go. It's working now. Oh, the knockback. I love it. I say it every time I use it, but it, it just never gets old. Oh, we could get an aquarium. I never was one very much for having reptiles as pets, though. I had a snake when I was a kid. Funny story there. Uh, my dad was a carpenter, and uh, he was always doing some sort of, like, interior renovation project. And so, I don't know, he had he had the drywall off the wall or something. Look, snake! And he had this big boa constrictor. That thing must have been, like, ten feet long. And it's, like, one of the great memories of my childhood. Feeding the snake and watching it as it, like, you know, does its thing, wraps around the prey, and then swallows it whole. I thought that was so cool. But anyway, so he had the drywall off the house, off the walls, and um, I guess the snake got out of its pen, like he had a big pen. I mean, imagine like a house like this, but the whole corner, it was like a 45 degree angle like that, and all the way up to the ceiling, and that was like one big snake pen for it. Look, I totally dodged all the zombies. All right, let that cop spit, and I'll dodge. Whoop, almost. Anyway. Long story short there, snake got loose, snake went into the wall because the drywall was down. Oh my god, what's happening here? Get out of here! And the snake was in the wall for six months before it finally showed up again. Hey, titanium chainsaw. There was literally a snake in our wall for six months. Whoa, holy crap, what was that? Was that a demon? Or no, is it a landmine maybe? Can you imagine that though? Living, like... When I was a kid, I didn't, it didn't seem to phase me, but um, today, man, I would be in a straight panic. Like there's a snake in the walls at all times. Yeah, guess he, I mean, he must've been hungry in there. I mean, there's no way he was finding much to eat, right? I think we're done here. Yeah, area's clear. We just gotta get the satchel. I missed it somewhere. Yeah, did I miss it up here somewhere? Inside, wait a minute, where is it? It's down, oh, here it is. All right, mission complete. Let's go grab that loot. These things are pretty easy. I, I do have to say, that or I've just got the hang of it. 
over over time here. Titanium plated Kevlar pants. I think that replaces the regular titanium pants that I have on right now. I guess I don't I don't know which one is better. I'm more more just going with preference. Plus I, I like the I don't like the the bright blue color of the titanium. I like this more subdued color. Not that that makes any difference at all. It just it makes a difference in my brain. That's it. All right, I think we're done here. I don't quite know how to get out of here, so I'm gonna chance it and hope that my ankles hold up here. Ah, uh, yeah, we're we're good. We got a couple points in parkour anyway. What are you guys doing here, loafing around? I'm gonna have to charge you a spectator fee. Okay, so from here, let's have a look at the map and see what else we gotta do today. So I think what we'll do now is we'll swing north to Taylor's treasure. We'll go south to Taylor's other treasure, to the airdrop to Jennifer's treasure. We'll stop by and see Trader Hugh, turn in the quest, get a new one. And then we'll probably swing south, do the infestation, and then back north to the man-eater and turn that in and see Trader Wrecked, get the reward for the infestation. And then uh, we'll kind of round things out with a trip to Dr. Anna and see how she's doing and see if she's selling anything good for us. Tomorrow is Trader Restock Day, so we'll have to check it today before it turns to midnight. So we got a lot to do. All right, let's do this. All right, I've made it to Taylor's treasure. It should be over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right, there's fuel in the gyrocopter, so we can use as much as we'd like to just dig this up as fast as possible. And we might need a little bit of clay soil anyway so that we can continue with steel production. Hopefully all of the steel that I started making this morning and last night from the big mining trip will be ready by the time we get back. So that way we can start up with upgrades tomorrow, get the base all ship shape. All right, we're in. Same old stuff here. See, that's the kind of stuff, like those ammo crafting materials. I'll turn that probably into regular 762. And uh, look at this orange tree right here. <laughs> Too bad I can't make any orange juice or orange tea. All right, on to the next one. Taylor's other treasure. All right, here we are. Taylor's other treasure is open. Same old stuff there. Did get a titanium spear, which is pretty good. I think I do need those in order to repair the one that I have, but honestly, they're so easy to make. Just like two titanium arrowheads. <laughs> I would, I could just craft myself 10 of them and combine them, which we will do once we get the laser workbench. That's how we'll get the, the max level one. And from here, there should be an airdrop nearby. Where was that? It's over there. Oh boy. Okay. On top of a rooftop too so we'll have to do a daring landing here it's okay i gotta work on my skill anyway just bring it in nice and slow okay how about right there's good get out of here please ah crap i fell off oh man <laughs> i gotta go in here now ah crap what is this place anyway some kind of a restaurant all right well where's the staircase all right i found the staircase good out to the rooftop grab this is there another bird here What's going on? Oh no, it's the, the the rotors are still spinning around. All right, can I get up out of here? There we go. All right, from here, we have one more treasure, Jennifer's. Well, actually, no, I think we had two. We have two, just one. All right, let's go. All right, we're into the next one here. This time with a titanium sledge. And oh my God, quite a lot of money there. But ultimately that's only about, that's like less than one stack of steel if I sold it. <laughs> that's like one stack of stone basically. Okay, that's it for the kind of busy work there. Get rid of that airdrop. And oh, there's Sarah's treasure way, way down there. Not interested really. And um, well, actually we could do that because yeah, let's do it. Let's just get it out of the way. Cause I do have the cold weather gear on right now. So we're fine. We got plenty of time today. Let's get it right in on the snow, right? Stripper. I ha I'm trying to decide if we're going to start working on pistol skill or not, because all of our other action skills are maxed out. To be determined, I suppose. All right, we're into the treasure here. Oh my God, that one had some really good money in it. I'm not sure if my loot gets better in the snow biome, if that's how it works or not, but presumably because that was a really good treasure there. Okay, and with that, we are done with treasures. We can head down to the tier three infestation down here. Pretty smooth landing if I do say so myself, if it wasn't for clipping the lamp post and almost completely exploding my helicopter. Okay, gotta be extra careful about that in the future. All right, how many repair kits are you gonna take? One, just two. Two and refuel and I think that's good. All right, where are we anyway? We are at... I don't know where this is. What is this place? This is the, oh, the blue trailer trucking, right. Okay, this is an infestation, so watch out. Let's hit it. All right, what are we dealing with here? Locked, locked. That is, I wanna see what's in here. 
Well, not much. Oh, <laughs> there's a big gaping hole in the side there I could have used. Oh well, coffee seed recipe? I'll read that one. Coffee's an ingredient for ink and some other things, so... Wouldn't mind having some of that. Alright, oh I see, you gotta jump up on the sign and this is the way you're supposed to go. Birds. Oh boy, so I get a sense that we're gonna have to drop into a mess of zombies that are gonna be in here. That sounds fun. Yep, this is the spot. Just duck down and sneak for a second. Okay, if I were a zombie, where would I have died and turned into a zombie? Probably in that box over there. Is anybody in there? Looks empty. Apparently I would have made a bad zombie. Well, I've got parkour, we got some booster pads to get back up here. Oh, now there's a zombie in there! Ah! Oh, that's a demon! There. Yep, just- oh, jeez, get another one here. Ah! Reload! Holy crap! We got quite a group in here, and I'm gonna be stuck if I don't get out of here. Alright, back over here. Take that demon down. Immediately another one! Yep, overwhelming fire superiority here. Okay, they're all stuck in the shelves, which is great for me, bad for them. Is that it? Are we good here? Okay, that was fast and furious. Okay, and I did... I, I woke somebody up. Who did I wake up? I woke up someone in here. Alright, let's check the loot. Loot as we go. Some steel and duct tape. Nice. We're gonna need a lot of duct tape to make the vehicle mods, I've learned. Some good stuff in there. That must have been that mutated soldier. Alright, otherwise I don't think I really need to go through pallets and boxes and stuff like that in here. Nope, I think we're good. Okay, we do have a, like a prison door thing here and I can't quite get over that. I'm gonna just unlock this. There we go. Why not, right? Just give us an extra avenue of escape. Oh! I've been flanked from behind. Dog. Nurse. Just the one? Got another one over there, I see him. Take him out. Alright, what's going on in here? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Whoa, that did not kill him. I was really expecting it to. All right, make this. Whoop! That I did, didn't quite work. That worked pretty well, actually. Finish things off. A titanium pickaxe. I think I found one of those earlier today too. Yeah, we need to switch over from the regular pickaxe. For some reason, just seeing the the iron pickaxe type of form on that made me think it was inferior. But no, this actually. This has a cool look to it. Futuristic. Alright, looks like that was just like a little cubby full of zombies. We have to go this way now to finish things off. Oh, they baited me in with some banana pancakes, those bastards. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's good. That'll... I actually didn't have to eat that. I just... I, could, I couldn't not eat it, you know? Here, turn off. Oh, boy, they're everywhere. Here, string them outside. There, I got one bullet into them, disabling demonic regeneration, and I'm gonna hide behind the jail door here that I unlocked and see if we can do kind of the same trick that we did a second ago. This time, I'm just gonna overload it though. One, two, and three. Whoa, that almost killed me. Was it worth it? Probably not. All right, now we just have a whole bunch of demons to deal with. If I can line them up, you know, my accuracy is gonna be better if, if the group target is bigger, you know? Ow. Okay, mission complete. Nobody said it had to be pretty, right? It just had to be done. What did that demon leave for me? Two beakers and a sewing kit. And another titanium pickaxe right there. All right, here we go. Infested cash. Good for... It's basically a treasure chest, right? <laughs> you can just get some ammo stuff out of it most of the time. All right, what about the rest of the stuff here? And just a tier two loot chest with a couple pieces of armor in it. Ammo pile here for a rad remover. Good find. Okay, I think that's it for this place. I think we're on to... We gotta check Trader Wrecked and Trader Anna tonight. Or Dr. Anna, I should say. It'll be respectful of her title. There's a zombie right behind me. Die! Oh. <laughs> he was a little bit further away than I thought there. 15 wire relays, too. All right, just double check the map and make sure that we're doing the right thing here. Yes, we are off to Trader Wrecked. All right, see if I can set it down right on Wrecked's helipad. It's looking good. I'm getting good at this. All right, we should have two quest rewards here. One from the How scout. Serve you? you can serve me a reward. I'll take the brace and yeah, I think the mods are always a good thing to, to take because they, um, they're they so difficult to craft and I'll take another job from you. Let's do, oh geez, should we just do a restore power and see how good that is? Mobile field hospital. 
night only. Can I don't I think it has you? to be night only. We'll give it a try. We'll sort all that out. And Trader Wrecked can serve me a reward as well. I'll take probably the auger for selling and the apple pie for eating. Rex apple pies are unlike any others. Really good stuff. Highly recommend them. And it looks like we do have some more jobs. We could do more infested jobs. I do prefer them, I think. Uh, they're just a little bit faster, more fast and furious, you know? I what do you have to the south? The Navas Game Creamery. Like Man, it's been ages since I've been time. there. All right, sounds good. Is there anything I need to buy from you here? And we have a whole bunch of skill points now. He does have the generic schematics. We'll definitely be taking those. I have 22 grand on me, so no problem. I'll always, I like to take the lanterns too, because lanterns are, of all things, they're pretty tricky to make. And I, I would like to just put them into mines and such. Couple of paintings here we can put up in the base and I think that's oh, just about it. Want... Okay, let's take down... Uh, didn't I get a mineral water there from the scout? Sure. And I am completely stuffed on the inventory right now, but... We have one more stop to make, and that is Dr. Anna's. So Dr. Anna, I discovered months ago, was one of the lead scientists on the project to open up the scientific portal to another realm. And unfortunately, they didn't do their due diligence. And they opened the rift to the demon realm, which started this whole apocalypse. Fortunately, the last time I met with Anna, she was able to send me into the demon realm, which is a mirror image of this one, so that I could go back to the bunker, destroy the portal, and sever the link between our dimensions once and for all. But we've now been outsmarted by the demon king, who was able to reopen the rift somehow. So it's up to us to discuss this with Anna and see if there are any solutions to this problem. And here she is. You don't look so good. Well, I've spent you a year and a half in the demon that. realm. Antibiotics aren't going to help with that. Wow, I didn't think you had it in you. Good job. All right, go ahead and give you some 762 coil rounds along with these energy cells. And let's grab a job. Research rescue from hell. Okay. We'll have to discuss further what that mission is and what it means for us. But for now, let's just check our inventory and see if there's anything pressing that we need to buy here. Oh, she's got the Blackhawk helicopter. <laughs> I bet I could afford that by the end of the day today. Oh, a portal power source. Oh, that could be super helpful for us. I don't know yet. And hang on to that for a little bit while I come up with a plan there. I, I will take those schematics. She has a security mastery book, which is pretty cool. I might need to run back. What is that gonna give me anyway? Thanks for the business. Master security will give me advanced tactical rigging, advanced brass catcher, and increasing the crafting tier by 10 for all automatic weapons and armor, excluding light armor. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna run back to the base and get the money. I think we should buy that. Okay, first things first, we'll immediately go for the Security Mastery book. That'll be 45,000. Banded Armor Plating Mod, I'll take that. And a Customized Fittings Mod. Okay, we're making out good on the mods with her. Okay, so what we need to do now is just... I think I will get a Solar Bank and a Solar Cell. Eventually, maybe I'll start collecting those things. But for now, I'm kind of saving money Thank because... You so much. In a few minutes Come here, on. her inventory should restock. I'll just... um leave her to do that privately and in the meantime i will search around here and see if she has any goods to donate to us some first aid and she's got some key cards and stuff here for us more generic schematics a whole bunch of other things we can scrap we should have enough at some point soon then with all these books i've been finding in the last day or so to uh finally get the final class there the hunter class and just unlock that I don't really intend on progressing very far in it, but it's good to have everything unlocked anyway, so we have our options open. All right, I just searched through the kitchen, got some, you know, yeast and stuff like that out of it, and uh, Anna should have restocked her inventory by now. Okay, Anna, what you got for me this time? Okay, this time around she has the Farmer Mastery and the Survivalist Mastery, both of which I would like to have but neither of which I can afford right now. So within the next couple of days, we can come back here and sell her some stacks of stone. She seems to really be into the building Not materials or something. Thing. Oh, and she's well, got some desks in here to search too. Time. Good. All right, Anna, pleasure to meet you. I'll be in touch and um, we'll progress with our plans here to defeat the Demon King. All right, just cracked morning there. Just heard the bell and I'm just inside here looking at my cell chest and getting everything kind of squared away here. So I've put some ammo in here to sell that because if you look over here, 
<laughs> we've got a lot of ammo more ammo than we can use right now so we should really start thinking about um, those turrets check on the skill points here we yeah we have two skill points well unfortunately where was it L electric powered traps so we need level four to get the coil carbine turret and the coil shotgun turret but we can get the mark two turrets with three points it's a real bummer that's not how i i want to spend my points it's not I don't ever want to have to go through all of that just to get turrets, but we need the turrets and I haven't seen them for sale yet. So I'm going to hang on to the points for a little while. And once we get five or so, maybe after the Horde Knight, when we have like 15 skill points to spend, it'll be a little bit easier to kind of go down that chain. But for now, I'm hungry. Give me a second. Get some breakfast into me. Steak and potatoes and some red tea. And I don't even think I finished with the... Yeah, I still have a whole bunch of stuff to go through here. On the bright side, though, we are looking good on the generic schematics now, up to 90. And we're also looking pretty good on the money front. Still have 20 grand. Okay, sufficiently fed and hydrated. The inventory is fully squared away. We have a security mastery book. So, okay, forgive me, but I, I don't know. Can I just do that now without having maxed any of these out? Let's figure that out I guess read that seems like it worked let's just double check here yep master security okay so all you have to do is have the class unlocked and then you can do the the master thing in it and that unlocked for us better automatic weapons oh and all armor excluding light so in other words not all armor <laughs> and also titanium club advanced brass catcher recipe and advanced tactical rigging okay so let's craft both of those okay advanced brass catcher will be in this station right here craft that gives you a hundred percent of your brass back so it'll be good to use in the m4 for the <laughs> for the next couple of days until we kind of graduate from that probably after the next horde and the other one was the tactical rigging advanced type that's gonna require, oh yeah, a lot of generic schematics there, but also a lot of military fiber. Ooh, I don't know if I have that much. I'm at 13 and I don't think I can craft it. Yeah, that's locked behind, yeah, science, which, oh geez. I don't wanna have to put points in that either. This is sold frequently at the trader though, so do we make a trader run or? Yeah, cause I want, I want those other mastery books like, like right now, so. Let's find some stuff to sell. We got plenty of steel. We, I think we can sell off a little bit of the steel and the stone. We can sell off a little bit of the stone. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of stone. And then I'll do probably six stacks of steel to sell as well. It's just so easy to mine it. it you know, it's not a big deal. Plus when we're at the traders, I'll look for some military fiber. All right, <laughs> back to the trader for another sell off. Okay, here we are at Dr. Anna's. I already stopped by Wrecked and sold most I of our stuff the there, but I have a little bit more to sell here and I think we'll get enough. Okay, that puts us up to 100 grand. For some reason, she is not really interested in some of the forged steel there, so I guess I'm hanging on to it. But that should be enough for the remaining two class mastery books, Survivalist and Farmer. <laughs> nice. That is a big leap forward. I can't wait to get home and see what I can craft now for food with all the advanced stuff there and I made this little entrance for me right here so I can get out pretty easily okay back to the base now we got work to do over there okay unfortunately I did not get the military fiber that I was looking for there so we will table the advanced tactical rigging for now we can however read the survivalist class mastery in the farmer mastery book here that's going to unlock some crazy stuff for us got to make a shopping list now it's like the only thing of real importance here is going to be the large backpack and maybe signal flare oh of course that's going to take 20 military fiber as well and i only have 18 okay so we're we're collecting military fiber now for sure although i'm not sure just looking at the recipe here so we would have to get it's just one skill point to unlock military fiber crafting so you know, this is why we keep points in the bag, so that we can do these things right here and eliminate bottlenecks. Now we gotta craft some military fiber. That crafts in bundles of 10. I think I needed roughly 550, I would say, so we'll, we'll craft up five bundles. One thing I know for sure that I need to make is an iron garden hoe. Here we go, level 51 and a minute 30 on that. Okay, should have enough now for the large backpack and the advanced tactical rigging, which I'm thinking, I'm hoping, will almost completely unlock the entire backpack. We might need to take one more point into pack mule. All right, let's test it out. We wear this. 
reset the oh that brought us way down to here okay there's the advanced tactical rigging which just replaces the basic one and we'll see what that does in terms of oh down to five more so one more point into pack mule and we would do it but i'm not gonna do it because honestly this is not this it's not worth spending skill points just to get those last five spots there i can deal with that that was a huge leap forward now it's all about doing some cooking. So that should have unlocked a lot of good stuff. Meat stew, gumbo stew, shepherd's pie, spaghetti. Yeah, I guess it's a trial and error thing and, and seeing which one gives you what bonus. Because some of them give you like loot stage bonus and bartering bonus. So I suppose for now, let's do like, let's try to do like one of all the good foods. And we'll start kind of like keeping a journal of which benefit we got from which one. Kind of decide what we want to do from there. Let's make one bread, because I think maybe I could make a sandwich or something after that. Oh yes, the meat bolognese. I th I remember that being really, really tasty. So I'll grab one of those that's using a tomato juice. That's gotta be good for you then. Okay, we'll try the vegetable bolognese next. The last one I'm gonna try is gonna be the tuna fish gravy toast. I have everything I need except for the one cornbread. There it is. Craft that, and I think that'll do it. That gives us quite a menu of things to try and see what good they'll do for us. The only one I was missing there was the roast dinner, which requires more carrots, which if I grab up my new hoe, here it is, I should be able to do a massive garden harvest. And while we're out there, I'm gonna do some building. So I've been working on some shapes here. We've got concrete shapes. Let's get, I need the wood shapes. Which one of those were the wood? Yeah, I need to make those in the inventory, I think. Wood blocks. We're gonna make a nice platform and a fence to go around the garden for safety purposes. All right, let's get to work out there. Okay, first things first out here. I should be able to whack this with the, oh, yep. And I got four, four hops. Four from that, four from that. Oh, this just quadrupled our harvest. And this thing has a really good attack speed. Although it does suffer from the same thing that the laser multi-tool did in that it's kind of hard to pinpoint some of the plants. Well, it's working good now. Maybe it's just user error. All right, I hereby declare that our food and vegetable and polymer making material shortages are finally over for good. <laughs> and with such a surplus, I can kind of focus on the little nitpicky ingredients like how do I make yeast and how do I make dough and bread and flour and all that stuff. Okay, that's it for that harvest. Do I get more if I use the shovel on this or the the thing here, the hoe? Maybe? I think I got, I usually get four. Yeah, that's definitely giving me way more apples. Yep, because we're up to 26 off of three trees. So at this point, I'll take this one out over here. It doesn't look very good all by itself here. Maybe we'll uh, endeavor to get some coconut trees or banana trees up here pretty soon. Okay, it is now time for a bit of an area beautification project. I'm gonna rip off the fence that's around this um, water tower here, just because the zombies are gonna keep destroying it and it kind of looks ugly. And I did immediately summon in a screamer. I knew I was going to, but I've got the drop on her. And I'm just fixing up the tower because a couple of pieces fell off of it. And now I'm gonna proceed with the big fence project. We'll have a nice, solid, concrete, three meter tall fence surrounding the entire garden with a couple of entrances, which will both look nice and keep those damn zombies out. It does mean that these uh, poor chickens have to go somewhere else and the bees, they'll go to the rooftop. So I'm going with the, there's like two different, they're both labeled as bottom pieces. I'm using the bottom one on one side and the bottom two on the other. So it gives it a bit of a different look. So this is requiring a lot more shapes than I thought. I thought a hundred would do it, but I think I'm like 150 in already. <laughs> it's all right. There's plenty of materials to go around here. And with the second row done, I'm moving on to the industrial fence top spiked. I could also do the, the like the curved bar ones. I don't really know. I think I like the, the look of the curved ones better. And while I'm crafting up some iron doors in the workbench, I'm going to come in here with all the wood shapes that I made. And I'm also going to upgrade the little wooden walkways that we did, but I'm also gonna continue doing that in like a perimeter, like there's gonna be a perimeter walkway and also walkways between each furrow. All right, those doors are finished now, so I can slide them in. So we got the orange ones, but the orange ones don't, they look yellow to me. I don't, I don't like that. Uh, let's go with instead black, classic black. Oh, that looks really nice in there. And a door for the back as well. Okay, and I was just kind of thinking to myself, you know, this corner here, it looks a little bit off to me. I was wondering if I could do like a corner post here and would that look better? 
with a pole corner pyramid on the top. Oh, I do like that. Okay, so there's what that looks like. The final product, the Garden of Steel, I guess you could call it. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna roll with anyway. Yep, this place is done. Gotta be painted, that's it. Okay, tower, looking good. Trees, good. Garden, good. Got this area cleaned up over here. We have a zombie that's living in here, which is kind of weird. Hello, get out of here. And I just leveled up with two skill points to spend. I wanna clear all this stuff out of here. Not sure if I wanna do anything in here. I mean, it, it's kind of a nice garage. This is not working, so probably get rid of it. Does have one natural light in here. I don't know, I'll think about it. Couple little projects we could do. We gotta replace the letters that are out on the front here. I was gonna do that last time, but I forgot to do it. So we can do it right now. This place will no longer be known as the firehouse. Instead, we will call it the steel house. And for all these little side bits that say 911, they will instead say OOS, order of steel. There's kind of a lot of these little 911 things. Give me a second to get these all replaced. I'm actually gonna go with like the uh, the, the crossed out thing for the middle O, just give it a little bit of flavor that way. There was one thing I was looking at the other day there when I was going into the decorations, and that is these flags. We have some placeable flags, and this one says zombie apocalypse response team, requiring a canvas, a pole, which are right here. They seem to be pretty easy to make, so I'm gonna make maybe like the American flag and this one. And I think that'll fit in with the kind of the orange theme of the base a little bit. Okay, I got all that crafted and I need to go outside because I did notice recently that we did lose a spotlight during, I, I would imagine the Horde Knight. I think it was this one right over here. So give me some scaffolding. Yeah, somehow this one blew up. Probably, I don't know, could have been anything. I'm not even gonna speculate. You know how it goes. I don't quite remember how we were wiring these up. Oh, that's right. We were just wiring them kind of straight off of these ones. I don't like kind of chaining things like this, but the alternative is to put like wire relays out here, which are going to be equally as vulnerable as the spotlights themselves. And no, 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 don't tell me I can't reach that now. What if I jump down here? Okay, is this gonna work? It's always difficult. There we go. All right, I did make another spotlight because I have the idea of putting these flags up here somewhere. We have these two like columns here. I don't, I think they're, maybe they were meant to be smokestacks or something, I don't know. But anyway, it's now, they're now gonna be like flag post bases. That's what we're gonna call them anyway. And I guess we just drop these in here and see what they look like. Oh, they look, they look pretty cool. They have like, they're, they're flopping in the wind a little bit. Right, all right, and and we gotta have a flag. You, you know, if you're gonna fly the American flag at night, it's it's custom to like, you know, have a spotlight shining on it. So I'm gonna hook that up too. Just get like any line off of it and we'll kind of direct it straight up toward the flag. And there you go. We are officially the zombie response team. Steel house number one, the order of steel. We just gotta get it painted, that's coming soon. But for now, the major task to do tonight is to grab up all of the steel. It's still <laughs> rolling in out of the forges. Oh my God. We're just gonna do steel upgrades, just like we did the other day, only this time we're gonna finish it off. We're gonna do all the fighting positions. We're gonna do the floor, the roof. Everything's gonna be steel by the end of the night tonight. But honestly, I am getting a pretty darn hungry. So we need to decide on which one of these we're gonna experiment with first. Let's try. Let's see here, 60 food, they're all about 60 food. The vegetable bolognese, not so good. Meat bolognese, not so good. Tuna fish gravy toast is also 60. Let's start off then with the meat bolognese. And if I just check my character menu, that should tell me, oh, that was the eye candy one. Okay, writing that down. I don't know how much of a bonus that gave me. If I, um, yeah, it's gonna be difficult to see here. Loot stage 363, yeah. I'd have to check again, so we're 363 now. I'll check it again once it wears off and we'll see how much that boosted it. All right, hydrate up a little bit and get the multi-tool out. Here we go.
Well, the upgrades will continue well into the morning until I either run out of steel or everything's upgraded that I want to upgrade. So you guys can get some rest. I'll take first watch out here tonight and we'll pick things up first thing tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.